Hello from 5 chapter 5 video number 4 Okay, another title about soap The cleansings, the cleansings, action of the soaps That's the right, huh? The cleansings, action of the soap So how the soap help you to clean your clothes, clean your hands Okay, good title So soap actually is a cleansing agent that is used to remove the organic dust when add to the water, soap molecule is going to dissociate into sodium, potassium cation, or maybe and soap and ions. You maybe not understand, cannot put me back. When the soap molecule, soap actually is a salt. When you add the salt into the water, soap molecule is going to dissociate into the sodium, potassium cation, and also the soap and ions. Some reason, very interesting sediment, it is discovered. 变成加的离子,sodium或者是potassium,还有碱的肥皂的负离子 OK? So where are you now? 你在哪里呢? You're on your notes, page number 1, I don't know, but I have to check 我帮你 check 你在哪里 Page number 4, here, 在这边 第四面的圆圈这边 OK? So you are on page number 4 I'll tell you the meaning of the sentence 这句话是什么意思呢? OK? So don't copy yet, some of the Okay. So inside the box here, nah, in the box here, you draw the soap molecule. Ni sin hua fei zhao de fen zi. Ni hua hua wa chi dong si. Draw first. Okay, you finish your drawing. Very good. Han hao hua wan de zhen kuai. Ni zi yao pause ta yi si ya. Ni yao hua to jiu jiu man man de hua. So soap actually is a source of, for example, sodium salts of fatty acid. So soap molecule actually made up of the sodium cation, and also the long tail fatty acid, 也就是我们的carboxylic acid的负离子啦. So soap actually is a sodium sort of fatty acid, sodium the tail, sodium the cation, 加那个fatty acid the anions, 它们就变成了分子,对不对? Okay, so soap molecule, when you add it into the water, 当你把肥皂的分子,肥皂的盐丢进水里面, so when you add the soap molecule into the water, soap molecule going to dissociate, 它就会解散, and dissociate into the sodium potassium cation, together with the anions, so this will be the anion of the soap, 它的碱的离子, 它的负离子, but what happened to the cation? The cation going to run away, 它不会洗衣服的, 那个家不会洗衣服的, 它赶快跑掉, 剩下这个anion负离子, 帮你洗衣服罢了, so now what you draw here, will be your drawing called, soap molecule or soap anions okay so if you just now drop sodium here you cancel the sodium now but the sodium now to to there is that to put okay so i should not ask you to draw just now you start draw your drawing from here it's on take a take i see what or what you are drawing now you are drawing the soap anion it's a what's a fade out the food is a soap anion fades out the food is okay Cation run away, 跑掉了 So, 讲到洗衣服,那些男的,其他的都跑掉 剩下的卷的,在家里洗衣服了 OK? 再来 So, when we talk about the soap and ions The end ion of the soap actually can separate it into two parts OK? The first part will be the head, 它的头 And the second part will be the tail, 它的尾巴 So, soap and ion, 肥皂的负离子 它可以分成两个结构 The head and the tail, 它的头 跟它的尾巴 Or what's the difference between the head and the tail? 它的头跟尾巴有什么差别呢? For the tail, actually it's a hydrocarbon tail uh, This is an organic tail, come from organic substance 来自有机物品的 hydrocarbon tail OK? And what's the special characteristic of the tail? 它的尾巴到底有什么特别的特征呢? The tail actually is a hydrophobic region Always mean by hydrophobic Phobia 就是恐惧 Phobic 就是害怕的意思啦 Hydrophobic Hydro mean water Hydrophobic 就是怕水的 厌水的, 讨厌水的 region So the tail actually is hydrophobic 它的尾巴其实是怕水的 So since the tail actually is hydrophobic The tail never dissolve in the water 它永远都不会溶解在水里面 So that's why the tail, the hydrophobic region Will be dissolve in the organic dust 它就会溶解在有机物品里面 
So the tail is hydrocarbon tail. I like to call it as hydrophobic tails. It will dissolve in the dust, such as grease and oil. So because of hydrophobic, never dissolve in the water. So it will be dissolved in the organic substance like grease, like oil. It will dissolve in the oil, like grease, like oil. It will dissolve in the grease, like grease. But how about the head? Its head is what? The head actually is ionic head, liquid head, or hydrophobic regions, hydrophilic region. Hydro is water, philic is like like water. So I like to call this part as hydrophilic head, like water. Or in Chinese, maybe we can call it as how water. How do? How eat? Right? How eat? Ah, how eat? Definitely not me. OK， 好吃也不是我，好读也没有，什么都没有。好做工，好做工的人在这边。So the head actually is hydrophilic， 他喜欢水。So because the head is hydrophilic，the head actually dissolve in the water， 它就溶解在水里面呢。Dissolve in water。So this is what we call soap and iron， 肥皂的负离子。OK， 它可以分成头跟尾巴，尾巴是溶解在有机物品。头溶解在水 ，so this is something very significant, very important, 很重要的一件大事了，明白吗 ？Okay, so now you understand the second sentence. 你就明白这一句话了。When add into the water, soap molecule going to dissolve to form the sodium potassium cation and also soap anion. So 肥皂 for example, this is a soap. Okay, this is our soap molecule. Now, the soap molecule. When you add into the water, you're going to dissolve it to produce sodium cation, potassium cation, and also together with the soap and iron. This is to help you wash your hands with the soap and iron. It can have head, head, and tongue. Understand? Okay, set the water. Open it. Let me see. It has head and tongue. I'm out. I'm out. So this is what we call soap and iron, 肥皂的负离子 And now we look at the sentence. 我们看句子啊 When mixed with the water, sodium palmitic adult soap. Sodium palmitic 就是一种肥皂的名字啦。不要背，不要管它。Okay. Will dissolve to produce sodium ion and palmitic ions. Okay. So sodium palmitic 就是一种肥皂的分子 Sodium 跟 palmitic 的负离子结合起来 When add into the water, they're going to dissolve it, become the sodium cation, 就变成 sodium 的加的离子 And also the palmitic anion, okay? 还有那个 palmitic 的负离子 And who going to help you to wash your clothes, to wash your hands? 所以帮助你洗衣服、洗手、洗屁股的呢？ Okay, the palmitic ion 就是这个负离子 And what happened to the sodium ion? Run away 了讲到洗衣服那些加的都跑掉了 Okay, so like me 加的那种公的加的讲到洗衣服躲起来都来不及了我们哪里有洗衣服的呢啊洗衣服都给那些捡的人去做，他们天生喜欢洗衣服的 Okay, next, so this is a soap and ion and cation Next The cleansing, the cleansing action of the soap. 肥皂到底怎样帮助你洗衣服的呢 ？Okay, don't know, don't know. Am I? We start again. 我们又在开始了 ，but in another video. 用下一个 video 吧。Bye bye.